However, this news um, pleased, I'm sure, the trannies, but it also pleased another person in particular, chat. Ethan Oliver Ralph. Wait, no, wrong, wrong tab. There we go. This is the right tab. Do we do we read this? Do we read this all? Look at, look at all this shit. Look at all this fucking shit that he wrote about Bew. <laughs> Um, I I was debating internally if I should read this because apparently Ralph was on Twitter like, yeah, that's the point, idiot. I want to get on mad at the internet. I'm going to write my diatribe, my diary article about Joshua fuck Connor Moon, about fucking John Potter, if that even is his real name. I'm going to get on that, that podcast, that coveted mad at the internet bump to my career. You know what I'm saying? So it is a, a tenuous proposition. Should I give Ethan Ralph attention chat? Should we do a poll? Let's do a poll. And then I'll I'll, I'll put a song on. Um, and uh, then I'll go to the bathroom. Because even though, because after the sex change operation chat, I just can't hold it in anymore. <laughs> so I got to go. Um, I'll do a poll and say... Do we feed the pigs and then do yes or no? Vote one for yes, vote two for no, and then see if that works. Does that actually work? Aha, it does work. Excellent. All right. Let's see. Can, do I have a nice do I have a nice song that I can play? Uh how about this one? I sold my Jeep for a crack rock. When I come up fat, think I'll buy me a civic nest. I will have my entire kitchen. Juices are all turning red. Unless any flips the switch like a fucking bitch, I'll surely be a fat. Bitch, you know me, I love to gamble. Nigger, you know. Bitch, you know me, I'm a gambler I'll gamble until my body drops Now evil Eddie, son of a bitch I saw you looking at that old switch Don't make me fucking lose it all Yep, there it goes Fuck my life, I just lost it all Fuck my life Fuck my life Fuck my life Fuck me life my left foot, my life, fuck my life, F E look at my left foot, fuck my life, fuck my life, fuck my life, ah, okay, now I'm back, I am calm now, sorry chat, I didn't mean it, I just get emotional sometimes. Shows emotions. I'm not a fake bitch like some other streamers. Gambling with fake money. I'm all raw, real balance here, baby. Suck my hairy ball sack if you fake boss man jack. Plays with fake money. Eddie is a rigger. I fucking hate. <laughs> Dude, I hate riggers also. Uh, I will explain what this is in a little bit. Um, that song. There is more music in case you're curious. Uh, but let's save it. That was an unplanned intermission. All right, what does the, the poll look like? Feed the pigs, vote one. A hundred votes. Half the, half the vote went to yes, feed the pigs. Vote two, 47%. 90, 97 votes said no. Well, damn, that's a lot of people who don't want to hear about Ralph. Okay, I'll, you know what? I'll just keep it nice and short then, because uh, I feel like that's what the people want. They 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 don't want to feed the pigs, but half of them do. So we have to make a compromise. We'll just feed them just a little bit. Uh, so Ralph, what he did is uh, after this came out, and I I featured it. Um, which I guess some people thought was a dumb idea, but it's like, 
it's the Kiwi Farms. If I'm not going to feature this and be transparent with people about stuff, then what the fuck, what the fuck's the point of the site? You know, <laughs> you know? like what the fuck is the point? Um, so I, I, I just featured it. I know, I, and I don't regret it because I think that that's important that people know that after you know years and thanks to the kiwi farms we actually have a confirmation of this which otherwise would just be some insane fucking tranny story about listening to music <laughs> you know on the phone anyways a bedtime story about josh moon at x josh on twitter so Josh Moon, John Potter, whatever this evil slug has changed his name to, he still goes by Null on the lowercase i internet. He started a site called the Kiwi Farms to troll shield himself over his allegedly past love of Shadow Khan and Lolly Khan, his dreams of killing his mother, his creepy stalking of a romantic interest that wanted nothing to do with him, his general lies, the forum that he set up for pedophiles to commiserate and coordinate their sick predilections for harm and children, now has another confirmed kill on his record. Unlike Noel, I don't have to sit here and lie. Before this, I had no idea who David Ginder, a.k.a. Bew, was. I still barely know about the guy. He was a tranny. Obviously, that's a lifestyle choice I cannot understand and have ridiculed when the occasion calls for it. I slept well last night regardless. Or nonetheless, I always sleep well. Why? Because I don't lie about who I am and what this nasty place really is. But Josh Moon does. Ralph, you sleep well because you take enough tranquilizers to kill a horse. <laughs> you sleep well because you mix Xanax and, um, and alcohol. I have seen you sleep well mid-sentence in another man's house while standing. <laughs> I, it's not really fair to compare my sleeping habits when you're, with yours when you are uh, on performance-enhancing drugs, all right? That's some bullshit. He likes to act as if his hands are tied when it comes to removing the information of people on his website, Kiwi Farms. This is a site that was specifically set up to harass, threaten, and chronicle the lives of those deemed worthy of such journalism. Oh man, I don't even have to point out the irony of that. It hosts countless, countless doxes, lies, pictures of people's children and extended family, encourages and chronicles off-site harassment, and has been responsible for countless acts of real-world crime, which is fucking bullshit, obviously. Uh, people have been physically attacked, homes vandalized, bank accounts. Is he blaming me for Dan beating his ass in Portugal? Motherfucker, that was Cog. Cog hates me. Cog doesn't have a forum account. Cog's friend doesn't know what the sector is. How, how is he going to cry about me getting his ass kicked in Portugal? Homes analyzed. That was Zoom and the Plate Gang. I don't know why he's blaming me for that. Bank accounts hacked. That was the DSP people. They don't count. Careers ruined and altered permanently. That's probably true. A bunch of people have lost jobs because their shit has gone public on the forum. Also, Josh Moon, no, can make an easy buck and shield himself against the criticism he so richly deserves. There was a thread on my children before they were even born. That is right. Um, I don't make money off the site, though. There is a thing. I want to compare this because he repeats this several times. This same evil fuck refuses to allow a threat on himself. That's not true. There's like three threads on us. He admits it would drive him to madness. <laughs> I don't think I've said that. He is not some champion of free speech. He's a lying pussy who made a career off being a fake, disingenuous bastard. Gender, Bew, whatever you want to call him, came to Noel in his time of need and offered him $120,000 to take down his threat or else he would kill himself. He offered his highly skilled services as a developer for free to Noel if only he would pull down his personal information. No, not only refused this on bullshit, censorship, and free speech grounds, he also published the exchange for his deranged gang of sickos to gawk at to make another easy buck. Well, Ginder did kill himself. Okay, so, chat. First off, he was he had already stated that uh, Hecker Martin published um, the suicide note before I published the exchange. I did not publish the exchange. I woke up after the note was out and published it as soon as I did. Um, so that, that's not what I did. Uh, that's inaccurate. 
However, I would like to point out the inconsistency here. Ralph is accusing me of trying to make an easy buck. I would like to, to indicate that the Kiwi Farms is the exact fucking opposite of whatever the fucking easy buck is. Um, I can easily get a job, or could have, um, working in IT, making six figures, way more than I do right now, um, with the kind of skill set that I have. If I had just stayed working in IT at the time I started the forum, um, I would probably work easy hours making decent money in, in, uh, in the tech industry. It's not... That's the easy buck. That's why everyone does that. That's why there's a billion Indian people trying to learn Bitcoin and, and uh, IT stuff. There's a direct contradiction, though, which is so apparent that it, it's kind of like insane that, that he wrote this and didn't realize how blatantly he contradicts himself. Bu offered me $120,000 to take down his thread, and I didn't to make another easy buck. Offered money, didn't take it to make an easy buck. Like, the, 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 the holes, the, the wet brain alcohol holes in his fucking head. Um, to not, to, it's a, it's the same fucking paragraph. My cursor's moving like three inches to, to compare these two sentences. And he didn't, re he didn't know. He, this, this dude has a, well, he almost had a degree. He dropped out. He, he was going for a degree in journalism. He should know how to fucking write and write in a way that's persuasive, but he doesn't. Um... And then he just says that the forum is bad. I'll skip past that. It's uninteresting. You can read it if you want. It's featured, I think. No, it's not featured because it's Ralph crying, but it's in the thread. Um, he says he sleeps well. I doubt Josh Moon gets that same sort of rest. Bro, I sleep like a brick. I wish I could, I wish I could prove this somehow, that I sleep like a brick. I go to bed and I fall asleep. I take a magnesium. It helps me relax. I, but here's a pro tip, by the way. For those of us who uh, have our, our sins crawling on our skin at night, uh, don't take melatonin. I've realized that melatonin makes it harder to get up in the morning. Uh, magnesium is both better for you because it has a mineral quality to it. It helps you go to sleep, and then it doesn't make it, make it harder to get up in the morning. So if you're taking melatonin and you find it hard to wake up in the morning, try substituting that with magnesium instead. Just a thought. Sleep stream. Ooh, I could make some uh, me on Twitch. Sleep streaming. Comfy maxing. I don't know. It might be a good time. Anyways. Uh, then after this, as if that's not embarrassing enough. Um, Ralph went out to... This is genuinely like, why would you post this? Why are you proud of this? Uh, he says... Supporting OJ during his case when I was 9 to 10 years old was one of the most superb seasons of my entire life. I remember jumping up and laughing while some of my female classmates in my fourth grade class cried about OJ winning. The teacher turned on the verdict in class. This happened nationwide. Why did I support OJ? I don't know. It just felt a little punk rock to support OJ because I already hated the entire system so fucking much. You could just tell that this whole setup was stupid and gay. I've always had a deep feeling that the system, or at least the people who run it, are thieves who turn us, the rest of us, into an almost slave class. To me, him winning was the kind of fuck the government, fuck these people who I can already see control everything we do. OJ winning was funny to me, arguing endlessly in class about it as a kid, because I would even argue with adults. It was like trolling people in real life, lol. It was just fun. I remember watching hours and hours of coverage, interviews, afternoon tabloids, National Choir, newspapers, etc. I just fell into the super information, around-the-clock, breaking story that you could really, really follow all day. The OJ trial and the coverage was a headlong speed race into that modern, sick hellhole we live in now. In case you're young um, and don't know much about OJ Simpson, OJ Simpson was a star quarterback in the NFL. Uh, he was voted an MVP, um, he, and he lived in L.A., and he married a woman. Uh, he had two kids with her. He divorced her. Uh, he married a black woman and then married a white woman who was 
I want to say 18 or 19. And so she was like 10 years younger than him. Um, he, and he ditched his, he ditched his entire black family to be with this woman. They had two mulatto kids who are very gross looking. And a couple of years later, they also divorced and they divorced because OJ Simpson was a domestically violent person. There were multiple calls to the police station about him hitting her. Um, she had marks that were photographed. Uh, he was convicted of domestic violence and given two years parole, but no jail time. Um, and eventually she divorced him. Um, she moved away. OJ Simpson went to her house and murdered her. And another man um, named Ron, I think, it's like it had a Jewish name, was like Ron Lederman or something. Um, whoever the fuck that, uh, whatever the fuck his name is, he also dies. The evidence against O.J. Simpson is overwhelming. There is a bloody glove at the crime scene and at his house, famously an isotoner glove. Um, there is literally a trail of blood from the crime scene to O.J. Simpson's house. There, like, there are splatters of blood from the fucking house all the way up the road he drove on to his own house. Um, there is no alibi for O.J. Simpson for the time that, uh, that the murder took place. And he had a history of violence against her. And he goes to court. It is a national circus because he's a famous, famous NFL player. And back in the day when there was celebrities were more celebrity than they are now. Like being a, an A-list celebrity was a huge fucking deal. Everyone knows who you are. Um, and it was scandalous. And there was a conflating factor about this. You had the, um, the L.A. riots. The L.A. riots were, I think, in 1991, which was, like, right before the O.J. Simpson murder, where the police beat the fuck out of this uh, black boy. And you can say whatever the fuck you want about that, but the footage of him with the, the police baton just wailing on this kid became a national news story, and it caused riots that burned down half of L.A. And this is in the aftermath of this. You have this uh, police brutality thing that um, is fresh in people's mind. And then you have this black man, very famous, everybody loves him, uh, um, dead to fucking rights on a murder of a white woman in L.A., in this county. Uh, it goes to trial, and it is a circus. O.J. Simpson had assembled a what they called the dream team, and it included, by the way, Kim Kardashian's father as one of the uh, the attorneys. Um, and uh, that one black guy, I forget his name, who Johnny Cochran, and that's very important because the 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 cinching moment of this is that they take the isotoner. Oh, the isotoner gloves, by the way, were discovered by a police officer, a patrolman. Uh, who had said the word nigger, and they had some uh, some witness testimony asserting that the cop that found the isotoner glove had said nigger at some point. And so they said that he was racist and that he intentionally framed O.J. Simpson. But the, um, the cinching moment was that O.J. Simpson, wearing a latex glove, tried to put on the isotoner glove, which at that point had been washed and probably shrank in the wash because they didn't wash it correctly and he like tries to like weakly throw this glove on and the glove seems to fit perfectly but he's not really pulling and he holds it up in the court and says it don't fit it don't fit and then johnny cochran says if the glove don't fit you must acquit and the jury was like seven black people five white people and they voted to acquit. And at that point, it was a racial divide. Every black person in the entire country jumped up in unison and screamed and cheered and danced and, and laughed uh, that they had finally won one and that finally a man of color was able to kill a white bitch and get away with it. And white people were just in shock that we now obviously lived in this bifurcated reality where black people have their own justice system and white people have their own justice system. And it's just they should never mix ever under any circumstances because you will never get justice. Um, Ethan Ralph idolizes OJ Simpson because Ethan Ralph has never found a black dick that he would not suck. Ethan Ralph was born on his hands and knees, desperate for black penis, grew up on a diet of black penis, and to this day looks back fondly on his life sucking black penis and calls it the most superb time let me, let me quote him exactly. 
one of the most superb seasons in my entire life. One of the finest black dicks I ever did suck. I went to every white bitch in my school and I told them, yeah, I sucked that black dick just fine. And then two decades later, three decades later, because he's an old fuck, he goes out to the internet and says, yeah, I remember sucking that black penis and that was, that was a fine time in my life. And he, that's, that's Ethan Ralph. He just can't get enough of it. That's his entire reason, reason the entente. He loves black dick. Um, so I think there's a video here I have preloaded. Let's watch. Six seconds. See, you didn't understand why O.J. Simpson is my hero. Well, this is from a while ago. Um, <laughs> this was after um, when he, I think he got paroled. Um, cause he, he had an armed robbery years later, um, and went to jail for like 10 years, nine years, and then got paroled. He was convicted to like nine to 33 and a half years uh, for armed robbery. And he only, he, after nine years, he got paroled. And I think that was after that, that Ralph got really drunk. It's, I love OJ Simpson. I wish I could kill my wives too. I'm fucking retarded. I love black people so goddamn much. Every day I wake up and I see that my skin's white. I cry myself to sleep. Ronnie, you bastard. You dead bastard burning in hell. Why didn't you fuck a black woman? They would have fucked you. They would have fucked any white man. And you fucked some white bitch. Why did you do this to me, Ronnie? Why did you do this? Why is my skin so pale, Ronnie? So sad. It's so sad, chat. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.